What's up, dudes? Max here, back to talk about a game I'm very much looking forward to. Had the chance to play a bunch at EVO earlier this year, and we're finally seeing a lot more of it now ever since the last couple character reveals, which is still untitled and is commonly known as the Mysterious Arika fighting game, but I usually like to call it Arika EX. This game features a whole bunch of characters from the Street Fighter EX games that Arika owns, so pretty much the non-Street Fighter characters are now making appearances, so lo and behold, Skullamania and Darun Meester were the last two characters that were revealed at EVO, and a lot of people were pretty damn happy, including myself, simply because it confirms the fact that we pretty much don't have any limited access to Street Fighter EX specific characters, at least the ones that Arika made originally. It appears that they own those characters through and through, and we're gonna see more and more throughout this thing, but specifically I wanted to talk a bit about Skullamania and Darren Meester because we did get to see them on Beast TV, which is Daigo's streaming platform, as well as his YouTube channel. If you guys wanna check out the full footage of this, please go over to their YouTube channel over at Beast TV. This stuff looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion. I know a lot of people were griping on this specific game in terms of its animations and the sound effects, but there was a lot of information that came as a result of this stream, which the developers gave us directly to talk about the characters and what's going on and the Gogi system and everything like that, and I kind of wanted to generally update you all in terms of what the hell is happening with this mysterious EX fighting game, because now that Skullamania and Darren Meester are in it, we know that we're going to be getting a beta for this thing before the end of the year. We know that it's going to be launching on PlayStation 4 at some point in 2018, most likely earlier 2018. So what else is there? The biggest one was the sound effects and the sound design, which I was already initially assuming based on myself playing it at EVO. A lot of the sound effects sounded really similar to the old EX games, and that actually turns out to be true. They haven't done a whole bunch of sound design on the game yet, so the majority of sound effects, if not a lot of the music tracks, are ripped directly from the old PlayStation and arcade ports of Street Fighter EX, mainly because Arika already owns that content and this game is a very small development type of situation, so they haven't already committed to sound design and music and everything like that, mostly because it was initially an April Fool's game that they were just making on the side, and then all of a sudden a bunch of people are interested in this thing and they actually want to make a game out of it, so they're focusing the most on gameplay stuff right now, which is, of course, characters, which is a very good call. That's the next thing I wanted to talk about. We got five characters in the game total as of right now. They haven't specifically said how many characters are gonna be showing up in this thing, but the big one that happened during the live stream was the announcement of Captain Wisingdwagon himself, Alan Snyder. Alan, I believe to be the Dan of the Street Fighter EX series. He's sort of a character that is a making fun of the Shoto archetype, but he's also extremely, extremely enjoyable to play, just like Dan is in the majority of games he's in. So I'm very much looking forward to this. I love the fact that he is over the top, super proud of being American. I'm very much looking forward to him animated in the game. And can I just say how much I love the way the characters look in this game? I'm really a big fan of the character design, and I think it's an aspect that a lot of fighting games miss out on when you kind of update characters from older games and bring them into new ones. These still manage to look fresh, but still look new at the same time, and that's really good, and it reminds me a lot of something like Killer Instinct back in 2013. Amongst a lot of other similarities, including the art design of the game, it's very KI feeling, including the development. The game is kind of made by not too many people, and it's kind of a passion project for the most part with a very limited development and budget. They've even gone on record in several interviews kind of talking about the development cycle of this game and what it's going to be and their character selection and for the most part the guys that are making this thing right now haven't made a fighting game in a little while but they are very 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 versed in fighting game history in fact Arika as a as a development team for arcade games and all the things they've made over the past like 20 years have made a whole bunch of fighting games so they are actually very experienced in this kind of thing and they just wanted to do it again this is purely a passion project with limited development as well as limited like budget, but they just want to do it. They don't really care if this thing is going to be a giant multi-million seller. They don't have any sales targets of any kind. They simply were inspired the fact that people like myself and many of you guys actually reached out and were super interested in seeing a fighting game featuring their Street Fighter EX characters. And just simply based on that, they are taking the challenge and making a fighting game. Is it going to be ridiculously balanced? Is it going to be the best looking fighting game of all time? You know what? Probably not. 
but there's something about it that really sparks my interest when you get to hear this from the developers directly, which again is another thing that was very familiar about Killer Instinct's development back in 2013. Not only the fact that I love KI, just hearing the way they were making the game and their ideology was really inspiring and I wanted to help out in any way and I, that is the way with this game right now. Yes, I can absolutely agree some things don't look amazing and some people might even say the art style of this game looks better than other games. I get where you all are coming from. A lot of us are fans of these old characters. It doesn't have a huge fan base, but I want to support the developers in this situation. And when it comes to a lot of other fighting games that are out there that have bigger budgets, if not are made by much bigger companies with a lot of different people, I feel that they have enough support in marketing to make the game their own. While you have these smaller situations where developers just seem really passionate and it's something that I initially care about because it's rooted in nostalgia and you didn't have to bring that back, but you are bringing that back, this Arika EX fighting game is perfectly fitting in that situation. So I am more than happy to share my feelings with this entire game with you guys, if not share anything that's going on with the development, anything with the characters. And the next thing I did want to talk about specifically are the characters I would love to show up in this game because their initial roster they were mentioning is going to be about 10 characters, I believe what they were saying. These are the ones I would personally want to show up. The number one pick is absolutely Doctor and Dark. I love this guy's play style. I love Explosion. The fact that you can grab them with his like choke wire and then pull them into grenades and bombs. It's just so damn cool. The next character would be Cracker Jack. I love this guy's design just in general. Uh, I love the fact that his fists would get really big when he punched you and stuff like that. It was a lot of goofy things they did back in the day with the early 3D polygon models. I just want to see more Cracker Jack. I think he looks really cool and he would fit great in this game. The roster could also use some more female characters and there isn't a ton of original EX female characters. There is some that heavily annoy me like Aria and there's others like Blair, which really isn't bad, but if we have to choose another one, I really, really would prefer Pulumperna. I really like her playstyle and her character design. It's very welcoming, if not very much resembling Aladdin from the 90s and everything like that. But she, to me, was the kind of Chun-Li main female staple character of the EX characters, and I feel she belongs pretty well. And last but not least, one of the more popular characters, which I really didn't get a chance to play because I didn't play a ton of Street Fighter EX 2 Plus, which is easily the best version of the Street Fighter EX series, is Volcano Rosso. This guy has a huge fan following and I think would fit pretty well in the game, especially considering they can update his 90s as hell character design for something a bit more modern, just like they did with Alan Snyder, and that would be pretty dope. So there you go, there's a few characters I would love to see in Arika Fighter EX. This game, the more I see it, I think the better it's going to get because we're going to start getting more stages, the graphics are going to get even better, they're going to start focusing on a lot of the polish and everything like that, and it just inspires me to see these small development teams, especially for something that I already inherently care about, and uh, I think it looks great, and I can't wait to see more. Either way, let me know what you guys think of all the latest developments of Arika Fighter EX, and in the comments below, let me know the characters you would like to see specifically from the EX games, and maybe even the fighting layer games that you would possibly like to see show up in this game too. As always guys, thank you a ton for watching, my name is Max, and I'll see you next time.